The Applied Theater Conference is for anybody. Some of the populations I think that would benefit from the Applied Theater Conference include school counselors, junior high, high school educators, people who work with the autistic community, children's homes, women's shelters, homeless shelters, the list just goes on and on. The Applied Theater Center Conference is offering six tracks, theater and the autism spectrum, playback theater, cross-cultural missions, drama therapy, theater and social justice, theater in the corporate environment. Theater has many applications in a corporate environment. Team building, conflict resolution, practicing roles. The people that should come to the Applied Theater Conference are people who have a real interest and desire in using theater to help people in whatever particular population and whatever their needs are. This is one of the great powers, I think, also of the applied theater techniques. It gives students, children, adults the freedom to explore, to express, a renewed sense of play, and then, and then creating something that is that is beyond the entire group as far as expression, something that's more ar archetypal, more global, more universal, and a larger uh, sense of self and self in society. But one of the nice things about working with the masks is that um, once they were able to put on a mask, they lost a lot of their inhibitions. And they did some things that I don't think that they would have attempted without the mask on. And the mask also gave them ideas that they played with. The nice thing was to see them sort of forget what was going on and to get involved in something outside of themselves, which helped to reveal something inside themselves. I would encourage anyone who has an interest in working with individuals with autism to come to the conference to learn more about it. I've primarily worked with young adults, but I think it could be applied to any age just to learn activities to help them learn how to interact with each other. In our field, we're grinding against that right now where in order to really set up a program in a school, if you need that empirical evidence, eight studies that show significant clinical gains across control groups. We're kind of fighting against that right now, but what's going to happen is the scientific community is eventually going to end up with a stack of reports that say, okay, all right, this is empirically validated, now let's begin to apply it while the artists will have been doing it for 10 or 15 years already. I'm coming to the workshop this June. <laughs> yes. <laughs>